building community in a way that um, when we go these places, we can have really defined times where we can meet, where we can sit, which is why I love the traditional yoga retreat. We eat together, we tell stories, people sit at the table for hours just talking, you know? I have seen the growth in the in people wanting to travel, especially after COVID. Um, you know, we we were supposed to go to Morocco, for example, in in May of 2020, and that's you know, of course, the world didn't really fully shut down yet, um, but then it did, right? And so we had to keep delaying, delaying, delaying our trip. We finally went last year um, and had 43 people at that retreat. That was our biggest retreat ever. Um, I think people just wanted to get get out, you know? <laughs> and so it was, it was really amazing to see how many people we were able to get to go to that retreat. And of course that was, I had a higher price point. It's, it's, it's in North Africa. And, you know, of course, you know, people were willing to spend it. Um, but also it was easy to get to, like it was an eight hour, nine hour flight. If you went direct, um, you know, 13 hours, maybe max, if you went through Portugal, but it was, um, it was easily, um, accessible in that way. We did see more people want to, um, travel and the travel became less fearful because we were going mm -hmm. as group you know like it's a lot of there are a lot of people who have never traveled you know outside of the country or even you know to another state or another region of the country so it's um it's it was interesting to see that we can open eyes in that way so i've seen there's definitely been a growth um we because morocco was so successful and unfortunately my partner and i um split after that after that retreat because you know the vision started really going differently. Um, for me, again, these retreats for me, for the purpose of the retreat for me was building community in a way that um, when we go these places, we can have really defined times where we can meet, where we can sit, which is why I love the traditional yoga retreat. We eat together, we tell stories, people sit at the table for hours just talking you know and that doesn't normally happen inside the studio because you're you, you of course you talk but it's just kind of in a, a passing manner but you actually get to know people and understand them and really um really and you know foster communication and and um friendships really so um you know our visions kind of change after you know this morocco trip and i and i wanted to get back to that you know, part of what happened was we were our group ended up being in multiple different hotels. And if you know Morocco, Morocco has these riads, which are small. So you can't get really 43 people in one room unless you went to a um, commercial hotel. We don't tend to do commercial hotels in our retreat because we want people to have a real local experience. But um, but because our group was so scattered, we missed some of that opportunity to really gather and talk. And so um, we have an upcoming retreat to Morocco where we basically chose a smaller boutique type of hotel. Okay. We're filling up all of the rooms, you know, so we're going to have that ability to create that community, um, even though we're overseas. So super excited about that aspect of it, because that to me is the whole point. The whole point is um, we create these long lasting friendships and people who went on these retreats, they still communicate with each other. And then when they see each other in the studio again, they actually are, have more impetus to talk and sit there and just kind of shoot the breeze as opposed to just passing people by. So Hey everybody, Jessica Lachance here. Do you want more business education for your fitness studio or wellness business? Subscribe to our YouTube channel or our email newsletters and we'll see you here soon.